Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and today is a showcase video of my newest purchase. This is a 1961 Chevy Impala two-door hardtop, also known as a bubble top. I picked this car up just north of Ames, Iowa from the third owner. This car has been painted once back in the 90s and also has a brand new interior, but a brand new correct interior for the car. It's a two-tone seafoam green with a white stripe and a white top. The color in the photos looks a little off, but in person it's, it's just right. It's a perfect green color. It's not too terribly crazy. It doesn't really pop at you. It's just the, the right amount of subtle color, um, but it's also got the two-tone, which I really like. So as you see here, the interior is a darker style green. The seats are a tri-tone green, green speaker grill, green package tray, lighter green color headliner. If you want a green and you like green, this is the car for you. But everything is pretty much original as you would see back in 1961 on the showroom floor, with the exception of the seat belts, which are aftermarket, and the radio here, which is underneath the dash. But, however, in that defense, that's done very tastefully. The dash's not been cut, it's just a mount. You can always take that off if you wanted to. The trunk here is also all original. It's got the speckled paint, the jack, spare tire, all those goodies, and it even comes with some extra kick panel material. Not a whole lot to see here though, but very, very sanitary in here. And it's just a nice survivor condition car. 1961, the way to tell what motor was in the car was the grill emblem here. This one indicates a 348. And if we open the hood, we see a pretty sanitary numbers matching 250 horse, 348. Now I do have the original Turbo Glide transmission that came with the car originally. However, he swapped it over to a three-speed Turbo 350 just for drivability. This is the low horsepower version. There was a 250 horse, a 280 horse, and then I believe in 1961 it would have been a 335 horse tri-power. They also made a 409 in 1961, but very few of those examples actually exist. Now one cool thing about this car if you look here at the VIN number, it was built in Los Angeles, so L, and then the VIN number is 100132. So 132, this is the 132nd car to roll off the assembly line. So honestly, this car was probably built either the first or second day of production. Also, the body number is body number 60. So this was the 60th Tudor hardtop to roll off of the plant in 1961. So very, very low number. One of the lowest ones I've seen. The car is also a whisper smooth. You can barely hear the 348.
All right, everybody. So this is uh, this is the end of the video for today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like rating. Hey neighbor, I got something for you. <laughs> Who's this? My good neighbor Matt. Hey. What do you got here, Matt? Well, I saw you had a '61, so I got something that'll work for you. Look at that, a matching set of Adair County 1961 license plates. Yep. Now, if you guys don't know, obviously, in the early years, one was the county number in Iowa and then just your sequential plate number. But Matt here actually hooked me up yep. with a set. Let's go look at these real quick. Matt, we'll put them side by side. Matt is just the neighbor that, you know, he has everything in stock. Pretty but much. there's my 59 plates and he has the match for 61. <laughs> See that's that right there guys is Iowa nice. He sees a car, stops on over, no problem. And uh we're gonna put a set of uh yellow license plates on this car now. Have two two matching plate numbers for two different cars. Matt, I definitely appreciate them. What I owe oh, you. No problem at all. They're they're yours, man. Perfect, buddy. That right there, you guys, that's Iowa nice. You don't get that anywhere else other than small town. Midwestern states, Iowa, Nebraska, wherever it may be. Yep. What do you think, Matt? This car's beautiful, man. I love 61s. This one is... It's minty fresh. It is minty <laughs> fresh. So everyone, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed this minty fresh car, again, leave a like rating. Comment your favorite year of Impala, if it's not 1961. Mine's obviously 59, but 61 is a close second. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Matt, Thank you once again for the plates. No problem at all. Thank you guys all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I will catch you next time.